Welcome everybody to Evil West. In this game, we will be playing as Jesse Rittner. He is an agent in the of the Rittner Institute as he is battling a dark menace that consumes the American frontier. And as one of the last agents in this secret institute, he has to combat this vampire infestation that is taking over the American frontier. I've been excited for this game. This game has been delayed a few times, but now we finally get our hands on it and get into it. So let's do it. Let's go. Since the time of the Founding Fathers, dark forces have been preying on America. As the fight against these vampires continued, a secret organization has trained people with remarkable skills. The agent's duty is to protect ordinary people from the forces of evil. Nunzu chatty with his gut sprayed all over a train carriage. I know how to shape an explosion, Edgar. Suck my dick. He's the Secretary of War, not the Secretary of Bridges. Uh, let's go have a look see. I go high. Okay, so we are in it. Let's figure this game out. Nah, it's not that bad. Let's give it a try. Okay, so that's what that stands for. More money. What's that sound? Stop whining and start moving. You smell that? Okay, that's how we're starting off. Okay, so it just tells me breakdowns, actions, 
our character, Jesse, and the other gentleman, Edgar, and we're in the first mission. All right, cool. Oh, okay, I see. Prompt for the dodge is that red arrow. Man, but that thing is, comes up super late. Let's make sure we don't miss out on anything. Oh, here we go. Gosh. Some more bucks. Seven, 1864, 1881. Arranged in order of vintage like fine wines. All dead. Fuck. Boy, you better make all this worth our time, Chester. off the ledge. There we go. Got across the river. This will be a bad time for this thing to collapse. I was already doing that. I just have to aim it. That was easy enough. Okay. 
Just healing. Yep, I guess it's just healing. Um, he came from. I can't go down. All right, doesn't look like I'm missing anything down here. Great, more ticks. Looks like you could use a hand. First miss dodge. That way, or I can go up this way. Curious. Looks like that's the way to go. So I'm gonna try this. Jesus. Christ. <coughs> Worst damn barbecue ever. So in this game, it looks like we got unlimited ammo, which is helpful. for too long, but we'll have to try that on some enemies. Oh, 
that everyone? Yep. Guess that was a little boss battle here. What's this? Catering? Why, I have no idea what you... That big shiny ball out there is no good for your sensitive skin. The sun's not to know what they'll do to me. Fun game. Let's test that theory. No, no, Richard, stop! Belmontville! The, the gathering's in Belmontville! Excellent choice, Chester. And since you're feeling so damn helpful, we're gonna be needing a guide. Consider it a promotion. Dipshit. Belmontville's a long way from the manor. We're on a clock here. We've been hunting Debono for three months. What's another few hours? <sighs> have it your way. But your father's gonna have your ass as an ashtray if we don't make that presentation. You're retired. What's he gonna do? Fire you? <laughs> Belmontville Mines, huh? Oh, we're gonna be walking blind into a damn maze. And if our tick friend here is telling the truth, the Bono's gonna be right in the middle of it. I don't think I'm in a position to lie, do you? <laughs> That's the spirit, Chester. Now you lift those fancy illusions, and who knows? Maybe you'll make it out of this after all. The glamour! <laughs> Even I have my limitations, Mr. Gravener. You want a limitation? How about walking around without a head? Crawling with familiars. No question. <laughs> and where do you think you're going? Judging by that tone of yours, Sounds like I'm making sure Fancy Pants here doesn't make a run for it. In broad daylight. That's why we need familiars. I'm starting to question your qualifications for this job. Those ass licking. <laughs> Tick lovers should be shot on sight. Ah, what the hell. Maybe we can play with dynamite out here too. Right, Jess? I'll make you a new waistcoat. I don't believe my tailor would like that. See? You're bonding already. Ah, eat me! Okay, so now we get to use the rifle. Take a look, that's the rifle. And that's the pistol. Got that it. gathering won't find itself, you know? Move hey, it. I'm getting to it, Edgar, I'm getting to it. Give me a sec. You know the can is right there in front of you. Oh, shut up. I told you my sight's not recovered after the change. 
Hey, so you're telling me it's not the booze? arms off okay that's interesting yeah I'm still trying to get used to the adaptive trigger with this PS5 it's so weird when it just stiffens up to make sure I didn't miss any bucks because I feel like that might be something either collectible or something I need for upgrades oh nice very much worth it hard to tell if that's the way they want me to progress or if that's the other path. Let's see what this takes me to. Okay, so this was definitely the other path. Picked up some quick bucks. Now we can move forward. Oh! <laughs> 
I can't head in there for cover. Where's the last one? Now I can jump over. Okay. I guess it doesn't work when you're in combat. It smells of ticks. Gathering must be close by. they actually put a warning for people that have arachnophobia. That means this game is going to have a lot of spiders. in the tunnels. Let's continue forward. I'll bet my last dime to Bono's here somewhere. Dead end. Great. Hmm? You seeing this too? Take it off. Mr. Rentier, on a first date? What do you take me for? You're right. Maybe a little light to set the mood. No, no need. I see it now. Of course. The glamour. I'm on it. Today, Chester. Please. I need to concentrate. It's not that easy to sever the illusion from its source. What's the source? You don't want to know. Take the explosives, you get to Bono. Is this about the bridge? It's not not about the bridge. <sighs> Got the damn train, didn't I?
to share a tech architecture, but that, that's something. That is wild. Alright, we gotta find a way down there. It's hard to compete against the species that keeps on growing and advancing with their technology, creating new and more dangerous weapons of war and other engineering marvels. As I see it, the real struggle is nature versus technology, instinct versus genius. We have allowed those naturally subordinate to us to transform themselves from prey into predators. If we don't alter this trajectory, eventually they will murder us all. Nice, I'm glad they actually did voice acting. Or had somebody read those out. It's pretty cool. Bucks. Oh, okay, now this is unlocked. I would like to see the rest of my perks. Thirty percent increased damage. Okay, yeah, definitely want to get that one next.
not enough. brothers and sisters we are not bred we are not born we come to life when we accept the gift of change our powers are many and they have served us well the art of glamour has given us safety through secrecy but i am afraid we are becoming the victims of progress sooner or later Human technology will find a way to see past our illusions. They will expose and demonize us and make us their ultimate enemy. Inevitably, we will become their inferiors. Jesus, it's huge. When did they build this? And how? Those are all very good questions. Stuck there for a second. There you go, give it to him. Late on the draw. their little party.
We consider ourselves proud hunters, predators. But that pride sometimes prevents us from growing as a species. Internal divisions have weakened us. Our numbers dwindle while their numbers grow. But it's not too late. We can still survive. But to do so, we must be ready to adapt. We cannot be too proud to evolve. We've acquired all his notes, that's good. When the sheep will outwit the wolves. Haven't you been watching, brother? The humans have harnessed the power of steam and lightning, and they grow mighty. If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. <sighs> And so, you propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might lose. I propose we strike with my new asset. We can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguisuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. Control the change. Are you mad? Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition, I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. Enough. I will not allow even your master greed to, to lead us. Into annihilation. Peter Davala, of a high crime of conspiracy against your own kind. I sentence you and your line to the true death. I told you, Father. They wouldn't listen. We had to try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... Then... We... FORCE THEM TO! Oh, 
Oh, I had to reload. Spawn that. Shot to the head finisher. Nice. <laughs> Think you could have brought a bigger knife? Some people get a gold watch when they retire. I got Susan here. <laughs> Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? Well, what are you gonna do? Now that is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. Spend taxpayers' money. James Harrow. The people's hero. <laughs> I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. As long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. You're not staying for the presentation? The whole institute is in town. Uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. Okay, so we have finally made it here to the manor. Let's take a little look around. At ease, boys. My father in his office. He is. So before we go in there, let's take a look around. Veil of secrets. Director Rentier sure looks edgy. Something's up. I can smell it. 
Got some more books. year of cadet training and I'm the shortest one of the bunch well, the very next year I grew like a weed had to buy all new pants Edgar and my father in the Civil War Right before the bloody Battle of the Wilderness, Central Virginia. His life changed forever during that fight. Highborn nearly killed him. Badly tore up his leg. Edgar carried him in the dead of night across enemy lines to a field hospital, but the surgeon could only do so much. After that, Dad could no longer function in the field. Heavy as hell. Where the hell you been? Thought you got bitten by some tick. Some of those fangy fellas were hiding out in Providence. That's why the president ordered the western border secured. Did you hear about those ones that grew tentacles? That's a first. Okay, so we've made it here. We've had our first boss battle. We killed Peter. Um, let me collect the rest of this lore. Or Oh, officially they called it a cholera epidemic, but truth was they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. Nice. So I'm going to wrap it up here for the first hour of Evil West. I hope you guys are enjoying it. This game seems pretty fun so far. Um, hopefully we get more story, more boss battles, we get some different weaponry, you know, hopefully it advances a lot more than where it is right now, but it, again, it is only the first hour. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.